Welcome everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today on this webinar. My name is Farhana Chaudhry and I'm, I'm an applications engineer with Electro Industries. Today I'm going to be talking about our latest release in the Shark series of meters, which is the ST40. So just to introduce uh, what the SD40 really is, um, this SD40 meter is one of the smallest energy and power quality meters in the world. So the design for this was made specifically uh, to have a very small footprint so that it can be used in applications where uh, there's very limited space, but also it's essential to get that level of data uh, to make sure that your uh, facility or your, or your equipment, uh, whatever you're monitoring, is running at good efficiency. Cool. So while this meter has a really small footprint and comes in a small size box, it does still provide you a 0.2% accuracy energy class. Um, it also gives options for extensive load profiling. On top of just monitoring your energy, your demand, and all of your basic electrical parameters like your voltage, uh, your amps, your power factor, watts, and bars, it also gives the additional capability to record power quality at up to 512 samples per cycle. So dwelling a little bit more deeper into what the ST40 really is. So it is a small size DIN rail mounted uh, revenue meter with power quality recording capabilities. So it's really a best of both worlds. It, um, the accuracy level makes it revenue grade, but also you're getting your power quality recording capabilities in that small DIN rail mounted footprint. The power quality waveform events go up to 512 samples per cycle. So it's a very um, pretty high resolution for you to capture if there's any uh, power quality events that are incoming from the utility or if there are some internal components that are uh, generating harmonics um, or for some reason you're having a lot of voltage sags and surges, current faults you can capture all of that using this small footprint size meter. The metering is highly accurate. It follows the ANSI C12.20 accuracy class up to a 0.2%. It does have onboard memory inside the meter. So the meter is data logging itself. So you can store load profiles, uh, system events, limits and alarms, everything that the meter is programmed to be monitoring. You know, starting from your basic volts and amps, um, you know, all the way to your energy, your power quality events, uh, the meter will store all of that into its memory for uh, months and years before it overrides itself. And the application for this meter is really designed because it has such a small footprint. Um, it's the perfect application for your machine level monitoring. So if you have an industrial facility and you've got a lot of equipment that's very critical and you want to ensure that the machine is operating at a good efficiency. Uh, you know, there's not a lot of harmonics that you're feeding into your machine because that can reduce your machine's um, lifetime. If there is harmonics, your machine can, you know, heat up, there will be extra heat. And uh, not only will that reduce your efficiency, but that will also reduce the life of your machine that it was supposed to run. So not just on a building level as to, you know, you've, you've got your utility meter, which tells you you've used this much energy at the end of the month you're getting machine level information as to exactly how much energy a specific machine is uh, using. And also if there's any power quality issues that is affecting um, that specific equipment. It's also great for any solar or wind applications uh, where you know, installation space is really limited given its small footprint. Uh, it is a bi-directional meter, so it can monitor your um, energy received, delivered, your total at net. So it makes it great for the wind farm and solar type applications as well. Now, while the meter itself is logging all of your data, the SD40 in conjunction with our energy PQA is really a great solution. Um, and for those of you who are not familiar, energy PQA is our cloud-based solution. Uh, it's hosted on Amazon AWS and uh, all of the meters that uh, from Electro Industries are compatible with energy PQA. And uh, this cloud solution basically collects all of the data from the meters and then you can view the, all of the data without having to install a software or you know, be on site. You could be anywhere in the world and if you have access to the data, you, know, you just go to a browser, 
you type energypqa.com, you log in with your credentials. And then, you know, if you're a facility manager for a commercial or industrial facility, you could be sitting at home and you could still log into that cloud solution and look at all of the data that this meter is monitoring. So you could look at how your individual machines are performing. You can see if there's any power quality events happening and so on. Now coming a bit, bit into uh, the more technical key functionalities uh, that this meter has, in terms of accuracy and measurements, um, it is following the ANSI C12.20, like I mentioned before. Um, it's a very stable revenue grade metrology. So not only is the meter accurate, but it will hold its, ac hold its accuracy over long periods of time. It has three assignable historical logs for load profiling. So this is made really customizable for the, um, you know, the customers to pick and choose what they want to monitor. So there's three logs and uh, it comes with a default profile, but you can go and set it up the way you want. So you could have one log that's assigned to, you know, voltage and current. You could have one log that's assigned to energy. Uh, so you can really pick and choose what you want the load profiling to look like. You can also set what the um, monitoring interval should be. Uh, most of the time and as a default, it's 15 minutes. So the meter is going to capture all of that data every 15 minutes, but you can set that to lower or higher, giving you that you know, higher insight and getting your energy information down to the minute. It also includes CTPT compensation. Um, while the meter is 0.2% accurate, if your CTs and PTs um, have lower accuracy, your overall accuracy is going to be affected. So you can actually put a compensation factor into the meter to allow for that accuracy that's coming from your CTs and your PTs. Same thing for the transformer and line loss compensation. If there's um, for the utility type of applications in transmission and distribution, uh, you can compensate for line losses and transformer losses within the meter. And it obviously gives you all of your basic multifunction metering capabilities, including your voltage, current for each phase, your watts, your VARs, VA, frequency, power factor, and so on. This meter comes with sealable voltage and current inputs. There's also, if you notice um, at the, towards the front of the meter, there is a watt hour accuracy pulse for testing the meter to traditional standards. So even if you have a meter out there for you know, over uh, five years or seven years or eight years, and you wanna go and see whether the meter is still monitoring accurately, uh, you don't have to you know, take, it, take it out completely and send it back for calibration. You can first in the field uh, do testing using the watt hour accuracy pulse to make sure that the meter is still holding up to its 0.2% accuracy. It is compatible with our Shark 200 TIM module for MV90. So if there's a utility, they can use this for billing purposes. This meter can talk to MV90 using the same TIM module as it does for our Shark 200 meter. There's an internal system events lock for anti-tampering. So if anyone tried to break into the meter, it, do, it is password protected. So you can set a username and password if you wanna limit access. And if there's any tampering efforts to break into that, there will be a system events log within the meter that records all of this, which can be reviewed at a later time to make sure that um, no one tried to tamper and change anything inside the meter. Coming to the power quality analysis portion, uh, you can obtain very high level of power quality recording data for all of those small and tightly enclosed equipment, or if you have a tight cabinet space. Uh, up to 512 samples per cycle waveform recording will capture every voltage sag or surge you may have on any of your phases or any current sag or surge. Uh, this snapshot on the right side of the page is actually a screenshot from our energy PQA, which is talking to one of these SC40 meters. 
And if you'll notice, um, it's showing you uh, your voltage waveforms for VA, VB, and VC, where there was a SAG event where the voltage amplitude went down for a period of time and then came back up. So not only the waveform, um, there's other power quality information that this meter is going to capture, such as harmonic magnitude recording. Um, it's going to log your power factor in addition to SAG surges and fault conditions. So uh, especially for power factor, um, if you want your, in, your industrial or commercial facility to be running efficiently, power factor logging is something that's important if you have a power factor that's more low, like 0.6 or 0.7 that means you're only running at about 60 or 70% efficiency. So at that time, a lot of people you know, will think about doing things like power factor correction, because even improving, even a small improvement from 0.7 to 0.75 or eight will actually make them a lot more efficient and save a lot of money for them. So how do you know if what you're doing is actually helping you? Having this meter on there that's constantly capturing this data every 15 minutes and you're able to log in uh, to a cloud browser at any time and look at all of the data, you can actually see that if your power factor is low and you're taking measures to improve it, or if, you, if you're seeing that you have harmonics and you're installing filters into that to you know, make sure you're mitigating your harmonics, you know, all of the data is available for you to see to actually monitor if the steps you're taking, whether they're helping or whether they're not. So it really quantifies um, any efforts that you may be doing to increase your efficiency. Coming to the communication options on the SC40 meter, there are multiple communication options on it. It supports both Modbus and DNP3 protocols. There is a RS485 serial option that can communicate DNP3 and Modbus RTU protocols. It does communicate to our uh, cloud solution, energypqa.com, giving you um, not just the data that the meter is monitoring in the past and right now, but Energy PQA gives you the additional capability to do energy analytics and predictions. So if it's a commercial facility and they're trying to cut back on their electrical usage, Energy PQA actually predicts based on the data that it's collected, um, the, the software learns itself and predicts what your energy usage and your peak demand may be um, down the line, um, you know, next week or the week after, so that you can actually take proactive steps to reduce your consumption um, and you have enough time to know beforehand instead of knowing once you've already, you know, hit your maximum peak. There's also an optional Ethernet Modbus communication option on it. So you would choose between either the serial RS-485 or the Ethernet option. There's also a standard front read USB port for local downloading of data. So if in any case you want to download the data uh, by connecting a hardware between your laptop and the meter, um, there's the USB port right on the front. Um, we have our communicator software as well that you can just connect one end of the USB to the meter, the other end to the laptop. And using the free version of the software, you can actually locally download all of the data that the meter is monitoring. Now for the installation itself, um, the dimensions of this meter are under five inches long and wide. So it's a really small footprint and um, it's a compact DIN rail mount. It has a 300 volt power supply, so you don't need an additional control power transformer, again, saving some space there. And we're actually going to be rolling out a millivolt option in the first quarter of next year for this SD40 meter. Now the millivolt option has current inputs that accept CTs with 100 amp to a one third volt output. So this is really, uh, you know, keeping in touch with the current market trends and making it really safe for the electricians who are working on the unit. Since the voltage is so low, it's only a one third volt. Um, the electrician doesn't have to worry about disconnecting a CT that is around a live wire. So this makes the meter even more flexible for a lot of applications. 
because it will support Rogowski coils, which are you know used in some specialized markets. Uh, so it is going to be coming out with that option in quarter one of next year, along with the 100 amp to one third volt CTs that we're also going to carry. Now coming to some um, application-based customer challenges that this meter solves. So a lot of times we see that um, there are customers who want to measure their energy usage to the equipment level, but there's a very small control cabinet and there's not enough space to put a meter. So that makes it a perfect solution to use this DIN rail compact energy meter that's meeting all of the, uh, all of the industry standards, highly accurate and still giving you all of that uh, data without taking up too much space. Next coming to data logging, um, it's not always enough just to see what the meter is uh, collecting as data right now, what your system looks like right now. But in order to find any existing patterns or problems that keep occurring over time, and you need to have a comprehensive view of you know, what is happening at every electrical distribution points over time. Uh, you know, this meter gives you that data logging capability so you can look at your historical trends, your voltage, your current, all of your data over time down to a 15 minute interval. And on top of that, giving you your system events and limit alarms. What limit alarms is that uh, you would go and set the meter to give alarms based on some set thresholds. So for example, if you don't want your power factor to go below 0.7, you can set a limit on your meter uh, to as with the bottom threshold at 0 0.7. And at any point, if the power factor does go below 0 0.7, uh, the meter is going to send you an alarm based on that. So this way you're collecting all of your usage and alarm data. You can, using all of this data, you can analyze uh, what your electrical power usage is throughout the facility. And based on that, you can make informed decisions for any type of optimization or cost reduction. And just to give you an example on the data logging, it does depend on what parameters you are selecting the meter to monitor. But as a general example, it would give you up to a thousand days of data logging. So you could go years without ever using up the entire memory. If you want to use your meter for managing your electricity costs, again, using the ST40 in conjunction with the energypqa.com will give you your energy analytics and predictions to help you reduce that cost. So having that information that you're going to hit your peak demand or your usage is going to go way up next week, you can actually take steps to ensure that you're not hitting those peaks or to reduce your energy usage so that you're not getting billed by the utility and uh, you know, getting, a, getting a really heavy bill at the end of the month. And of course, for power quality, um, if you're facing a challenge with power quality and you want to monitor the reliability of your equipment, in addition to energy measurements, also make sure that you're getting good quality power from the utility. Um, this meter is going to give you all of that power quality recording and more in, for all of those really small, um, small sized cabinets, even though space is an issue and you're putting a really small compact meter in there, you're still getting that uh, wide range of data starting from your basic energy all the way up to your power quality up to the 512 samples per cycle. 